hello hello my beautiful wolf pack Ahu! welcome welcome if you're new please hit that subscribe hit that bell button so you could get the notifications and please please most of all hit those likes i appreciate it helps the channel uh, tremendously okay so if you're new again like i said welcome um the ones that have been joining me all this time and been my supporters i thank you so much from the bottom of my heart um also the ones that have come in from tiktok or the ones that have joined me in tiktok because of it's the same name i have tiktok if you want to join me there but i thank you all so much again all right so we're doing the love reading for this week all right i'm going to use my regular tarot then we're going to go with the romance cards okay all right so let's clear the negative energy around us beautiful 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 okay this is the black tourmaline crystal anyone dealing with mental emotional or physical pain let this bring you some healing Ooh, look how pretty that is i'm sorry i'm being silly today all right and then since we're doing the romance cards you know that we're ro anything with romance love um if, whether it's family your partner um your children you know with that anybody your best friends your friends that are like family if you're having any trouble with that this is the perfect rose corks to use if you want to put it on you try to find one in a chain i'm always trying to um describe those when i when i show other crystals the, that's for the heart chakra okay so when you want anything help helping you in love you put that around anywhere near your, your heart it could be a chain it could be in a pocket that's next to your heart um anything like that okay but or earrings if you're female of course um but i always like to share that just in case anybody wants to have it that okay, have that okay so we're gonna ask my beautiful guys to please clear clear and sorry let me just get this out of the way because this is really really bothering me just give me one second okay sorry about that i had to get my cup out of the way um all right so we're gonna ask my beautiful guys to please clear and protect the space i ask that you ensure only trustworthy answers come from the divine release cards i ask that you let me see hear feel and know the messages you have from my wolf pack and i ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved so it is so be it all right so here we go let's see what message in love that i did for you i hope you caught the general reading on monday because every monday general readings wednesdays is love readings thursdays is work and money and saturday is the person on your mind and also i've um i believe i put yesterday on tuesday yesterday yes um the four um videos of the elements which is um fire um earth air and water so if you're any one of those signs um, you know check it out you know fire signs is aries um leo is sagittarius earth signs is taurus virgo capricorn um air sign is gemini libra and aquarius and um water sign is cancer scorpio and pisces okay in case you didn't know which element is yours okay all right here we go what messages in love do you have here for my wolf pack, please and thank you. What messages in love do you have for my wolf pack, please and thank you. Okay. Let's see, let's see. The message in love. You not take three cards and then I start with the bottom energy. Whoa, alrighty. I don't know if I should take that one as the one or just, no, I think it's like this. I believe it's like that, yes, okay. And then okay and then this one goes here these have been flying this week all right oh you got the ace of pentacles as the bottom energy you're getting rewards good news is coming okay there's a path that you're going to be taking maybe going towards getting something you know rewards or being noticed and giving a reward also um ac accomplishing if you accomplish something on your path Right, that you that means reward. So, so you could be rewarding yourself by taking a path that brings you that fortune. Right, I'm just saying. But um, yes, I see blessings. A lot of blessings coming for you. Okay, in love. But I always see this as also the path you're gonna be taking because the pentacle also. Since we're talking about love readings here, let me just switch it up because this could be a second story. Which again rewards. I said that maybe it's a ring you're giving, or maybe it's or if you're a female, but maybe it's a ring you're receiving. Because it is round here, that's a ring. Um, and also, the, this means self. Um, but I see blessings. I see someone again. So, someone trying to give you an offer here. Um, it is pentacles. So, it, um, 
uh, again when i say this is the love reading i could it could also see it could also means something you're going to love like a new job work whatever that means for you okay if if we're not talking about that then it's a person again a path that they're taking or path that you're taking and you're going to receive this reward okay oh then you got the magician yeah somebody's going to put everything on the table that's you know everything is going to be given manifesting someone that wants to put a ring on it for you know because when you get married or you it's forever right and that looks like the infinity that just goes around you know all it goes and comes back to you always because it's meant to be yours right but look at the flowers that could mean all the roses on the table but it also means manifesting manifest everything that you want or you have already because this is the past so you've manifested good things for here for this reward right Ooh, the knight of pentacles again another card of, of message this is the card of beginnings the ace is a beginning is the, uh, the everything new everything fresh so this the knight is also could be a message right because the knights and the pages are, are like cards of messages also has the pentacle in their hand so that means it's either stand your ground or you arrived to your destination or someone is coming towards you to give you something to give you an offer right so that means that card right there and then this one is oh <laughs> look at the angel making announcements a judgment is uh, again a judgment could mean if somebody offers you again we're going to go back to that i don't know why, they, why i keep going back to that but if somebody offers you a ring or somebody offers you a marriage of course it's your judgment you're going to put a judgment on it and we're gonna you know everybody's celebrating hey because you say yes right but the judgment could mean is also don't be too judgmental on the person that's offering you that if if that's not the i don't know for some reason I, I picked that up because sometimes you could miss out on a good you know life and good um love and good person and good relationship because you feel like you don't oh because they're not what i want at the at the beginning but someone is not what you want at the beginning the ones that you want at the beginning is because you showed them that's what you want so they play it off at the beginning so then when you are in the relationship their true self come out and it ends up messing in the relationship and then you wonder oh why is this is is it because of me no <clears throat> excuse me in a way it is because of you and i'm going to tell you the story real quick it is a little bit because of you because when you meet a, fir a person for the first time you don't tell them everything everything what i mean is about everything that you want in a person everything that you went through in, in your last relationship we're not here to talk about that person because why, what for then i go and talk to a friend then I'm not here meeting a new person that I, I have interest in or chemistry in and tell them my whole full story because no, at the beginning you don't do that, okay? Yes, you tell them certain things about you, but it's about you. It's not about past things or people and it's not about, <coughs> excuse me, about what you want exactly in a person because I tell you this, a lot of people do this. A lot of people do this. You tell someone, oh, I want this in a man or I want this in a woman and, and I have to be that and, and this and that guess what you're giving a blueprint of a play that this person is want to come in now and be the head actor and they will act of what everything the blueprint that you gave them of what you want in a person makes sense now if you don't do if, if they do start doing that the acting guess what happens then eventually the play is finished because now you're together now he won that role in your relationship for good and guess what happens then his true self come out or her true self come out right i don't know if i'm making any sense here please let me know if i am because a lot of people tell me the same thing wow that makes sense you know you can't be telling everybody so i don't know why i needed to share that with you i just i took so much time i'm sorry about that but i'm you know it's for somebody to hear okay so when you meet someone new you know don't be so judgmental on that person of how they look especially you know um what they do and none of that but just you know their character is more of of what you need to go for than what they look like or you know whatever that means for you okay i don't know i didn't know why i turned out to a dear abby right here okay <laughs> just saying anyway so i hope this this resonates with you all right so i need i know i needed to say it to somebody okay so or whoever like i said wants to take it and put it in their pocket all right, the magician. I'm talking too much here. The magician, please and thank you. One message. Oh, oh, look at the justice. I am so done. 
I am done from whatever separation you might have also but the, again you have to put justice on that and make sure if it does come back to you which is the one that you've been wanting from the past um make sure there's a balance between if it's the same thing over and over again because look at the the hand here from the magician he's pointing down so that means that things you know the past is that person sometimes don't change because they're always the same that's why you're pointing down like you're always this you oh you, why can't we go up instead of always staying stuck oh that rhymed <laughs> real quick <laughs> all right so the justice justice card you see all right so again, it could be a judgment that's going to be put on whatever relationship. But I'm going to be honest, I don't see it as bad. So if it's not, if you feel there's nothing bad with yours, of course, or someone that you're going to meet, you see good signs and you see any red flags, out, quick. But I don't see it as that. I see someone's coming in that's going to bring you things. Or maybe it's a, a secret admirer. It could be somebody that you already know that's going to come to you and, and you know, admit to you that they, they want a life with your relationship, okay? So just stay, um, pay attention to those. I, I think it's for somebody specific. All right. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. So it's someone that's coming. Again, it's been a burden on someone, I believe, trying to come towards you to give you this message. Or it could be um, they feel, um, oh, it's a responsibility. Somebody's responsibility to do this, to give that good news, or mas that message of good news. Or you're going to be receiving it maybe uh um the responsible person again or you're going to be very responsible now with this justice right mm, whatever that means for you okay but i see it like that i see you pushing forward <laughs> yep i see it like that planning okay making those plans patiently waiting again you turn your back or you're turning your back on something here that you needed justice for maybe you got clarity of whatever it was right and now um you, everything was put on the table and now you got justice because now is your responsibility to move forward that could be another story and then this is the plans that you got to make the plans you got to make the world is in your hands so that means this is for you to for you to change things you've been patiently waiting maybe for somebody to change and they haven't they still like this only about business only with their face like frowning all the time like that maybe that means that so you don't need that in your life my beautiful wolf pack okay let me get you one last line because I've been talking too much and I want to go to the romance cards. Okay. Here we go. Oh, the high priestess. You again balance. Balance maybe in, again in a relationship with you that you are in or someone that's coming in very quickly to let you know, look, this uh, I've been marrying you and I want to see you. I want to be with you, whatever that means. Or it could be a past relationship that now is going to be your decision because again you learn from your past you have to learn from your past and here you're more intuitive of things that are happening or how they come to you because it's your responsibility again it's been a burden maybe this person in and out of your life okay well last mess what second message which i'm gonna okay um this is in reverse so i see it could have intervened also with family right it could have intervened with family is all you have children that it's, it's not i don't say it's a burden but now you got to carry with them um by yourself that's what that means that is that is a burden that's what i see for some reason um but i also could see is maybe um you're keeping family out you know, you're someone here been keeping family out and it's been a burden on you okay one well, last message please and thank you let's finish it off finish it off very positive come on come on come on Oh, and there it is. Very positive. What did I say? Look, again, someone is going to is separated or going to be separated. Right? Because this is the, the divorce card. It could be separation right now. I see, again, you're guarded, right? You're, you're, you're more intuitive now, like I said here. You're guarded, but the hand is still out. The, the hand is trying to I maybe accept it. There is celebration here. So, again, this is your plans. Either you plan to stay in this relationship and see it as going to be a relationship or um plan your plans are to make the judgment on that relationship move forward i believe because it is the separation card or the divorce card and then celebration this is literally like you and your friends maybe celebrating whatever that means to you okay so it's two stories here right cool and it's, a, and it's getting me spent All right so let me get you three cards of the romance cards and we will finish okay 
So again, whatever I spoke to you about today that could resonate with someone, if it was meant for somebody, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if that resonated with you or someone you know. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see more messages. And I ask that this reading brings blessings to everyone involved. So it is, so be it. What message you have here for wow religious factors hmm. your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path this could be them it could be you or it could be that person so for whoever that resonates with all right i'm not gonna even ask a clarification so trust again here with this card trust this situation is calling for you to have faith again faith with against either decide if you're going to stay or you know or, or let them come back or the, you know have trust in what your decision is going to be what your plans are going to be all right and then the last one whoa okay there's a whole bunch so i'm gonna pick this one that came out first and it says love yourself first wow mm, codependency bottom energy so stop that right love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so again, celebrate. Here you, I see yourself standing there by yourself, making those plans. Okay, 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 okay. Making those plans uh, again. The back is turned. So maybe you are, or it's, it's telling you, you know, giving you a little hint. Because again, uh, you do what is free will. You do what you need to do for your relationship. No one should tell you what to do. But this is maybe giving you little hints. Okay. So love yourself first. All right, my beautiful wolf pack. And I'm going to leave it at that because, again, I've been talking a lot. All right? So take care now. Love and light. Bye-bye.